foremost, for coming. Um, what we're doing tonight is we're premiering a piece that was written for us by Gene Coleman, um, as well as playing a couple other things. We can, we'll talk about those in a minute. But uh, tonight is actually, we, we did a Kickstarter, as many of you know. About a year ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly a year ago. Um, where we made a really great Kickstarter video, <laughs> which I think you can still find. Yeah. It's some of our best work. <laughs> the best video we've made. <laughs> um, but we, we commissioned three pieces from the Kickstarter project, and this is the first one to get completed. And this is called Our Private Sky. And then uh, also we commissioned a piece from Johnny de Blasi, who's in the back with the beard. And uh, another piece, that's, his piece is completed, so that'll, that'll be the next one that we'll, we'll premiere. And, uh, and we're waiting on a piece by uh, the composer David Soldier in New York, who's still working on it. And uh, that one I think is going to be about the Book of Ra or something Egypt related. Very exciting. Yeah. And then we actually, we went over budget, or over... Uh, we were overfunded, so we were yeah. able to commission a piece by Mick Barr, which we're working on with him, really excited, the guitarist Mick Barr. Um, and then the next, so, so the next thing we want to tell you about is that, you know, together we're the duo Archer Spade, and we've also been doing a bunch of shows <laughs> since about June um, under the banner of the Archer Spade Performance Series. So the Archer Spade Performance Series is concerts that we put together that either feature us, like tonight, or really are featuring musicians whose music and musical processes like inspire us and kind of like help sh have shape like help shape what we do and the way we think about things and we're really excited to be in to be able to announce the beginning of a series monthly series on every third Saturday starting in January so that's January 19th every third Saturday for three months and then every third Friday <laughs> I didn't know that <laughs> I, I don't think I told you that, but he never told me that. So we're starting a new series that has to do with threes at Studio 34, which is at uh, 45th and Baltimore Avenue, and in a brand new space that they've dedicated to the arts. So we're really excited about that. And then the first three shows are set. Those are the ones that are on Saturdays. Right. Um, we've, we're like really excited about the bills we have set up. The first one is uh, the guitarist Adam Kane with uh, Mary Lattimore and Je Jeff Ziegler. Um, which is a harp synth duo, which is really, really great to hear. Um, the second one is Anthony Coleman and Ashley Paul. And the third one is uh, Nate Woolley and Chris Forsyth and Jesse Cutler and Ian Frazier. So, about, more about tonight's program. There's three pieces in the program. We're going to start with uh, a new arrangement we've made of Mood Indigo. And, uh, you know, sometimes arrangements are made, uh, you know, with some kind of genre in mind. This was sort of done on the psychic level. Um, and you can, I won't go any more. And we're going to play Our Private Sky by Gene, and then we're going to take a brief intermission, and we're going to set up, and we're going to play, uh, we're going to be joined by Gene and Tom on cello, and we're going to play uh, a soundtrack to the movie La Jete by Chris Martin. But let's first, let's wrap for a second about why we're playing Mood Indigo. Okay, you got it. Okay, we, I, don't, I don't have to tell the whole story. No, don't tell the whole story. But like, if you want the whole story, you can go to uh, your blog. You can go to you can go to my blog, or you can go to our site and find the link for it. I put the whole story up there. But basically, it's that I had Mood Indigo stuck in my head a few weeks ago, and uh, and and I don't know when I last heard Mood Indigo before that. But I had I had an arrangement of Mood Indigo stuck in my head, and then I like set myself up to, to try and to find the arrangement that I, would, I was imagining. And so I listened to like a, a bunch of versions of Mood Indigo. But then Dan also was going through the same thing. I had so Mood Indigo stuck in my head. And I said, man, Mood Indigo is stuck in my head. And he's like, he's like me too. And I'm like, OK, we're going to play it. <laughs> There's so, a little more detail in, in, the, in the blog book. Yeah, you can, so here we go. You can read that. Mood Indigo.